Hey guys, it's T. How are you guys doing? Haven't uploaded the channel for a bit. Today I'm doing a really good tip for you guys about, uh, you can use this if you're selling online, or like business to business, or if you're like me and you're applying for jobs. Um, I'm in like a new setting now, so this video is super low production, not normally my editing bells and whistles and all that stuff, which is fine. Um, but I wanted to get out like the tip that helped me pack my calendar full of interviews and if I was selling it would have been pack my calendar full of like product demos and and meetings with potential customers and leads and stuff like that same tactic works both ways because like when you're applying for jobs you're just selling yourself and you're the product so um, that's kind of why this works but this is I guess still specific to jobs a little bit um, I think at the end of the day you guys need to take sort of not just like the exact precise tip that I'm giving you here, but like take the attitude that comes with it and apply it to whatever your goal is. Like even if it's not exactly what, what my goal was, which was to get a job. By the way, I did get a job. I'm moving I'm in a new location and um, motorcycle. In a new location, I'll probably share more details about that in the future, but I, I literally just want to get this video out because I thought the tip was super dope for 2018. It works right now, um, and I don't know like how long it's gonna work for. So from the thumbnail, you guys probably already figured out, I'm using two different tools. I'm using AngelList and I'm using Inbox. So AngelList is, um, basically AngelList right now is, in terms of jobs, it's like LinkedIn, but not saturated. Like. In 2018, this is like the place to be because it's not totally overrun. It's not like totally um, marketed heavily. Like marketers ruin everything, right? So it's just not ruined yet. It's like it's like a blue ocean right now. There's a lot of jobs on there um, and there's a lot of companies on there. There's a lot of contacts on there. Like I said, LinkedIn, but not saturated, like not overrun. So familiarize yourself with AngelList you need to know what's going on on that platform in 2018 if you're going to be in business, if you're going to be applying for jobs, you just familiarize yourself, create a profile, whatever. For me, I was looking for jobs. There's a lot of jobs on AngelList. One second. Cool. All right. So, so one special thing about AngelList in terms of jobs is that like none of the other platforms really require this. Other platforms, you can just post, like, you can post jobs without, like, a name associated with whoever posted it. it on AngelList, it shows the person, the name of the person who posted the job. So you get their first and last name. And the way to do that, I'm, I'm, I can't do, like, all the screen stuff to, like, show you exactly. So take the attitude that I was talking about and, like, go figure it out because, like, I can't show you. I can't, like, hold your hand on this video because I'm not editing that way. Um, but basically when you click into a job and you click apply for this job, that next screen, it's, it's like a, it's like a pop-up little, little window inside the website. And on that screen where it's like, write a summary about yourself, um, that little screen has the, the first and last name of the person who posted the job listing. So that's super important. Otherwise you can just, if you're selling stuff, you just want to be like going to people's profiles and finding their first and last name. You can also use LinkedIn if you're just selling stuff and you want people's first and last name. And then the second tip that you can combine these two things with is if I'll just use the job scenario just to like keep the video short, but you can change around what you say um, for whatever it is like you're trying to achieve. Take the first and last name of the person well, first of all, I apply for jobs on AngelList. Like right on that screen, I would apply. I would write like a little summary about myself. Um, I don't bother reading the, like I only read like the titles of the jobs. I don't read the descriptions because it takes too much time and I'm trying to go through as fast as possible. So I apply on LinkedIn or on AngelList. Then I go to the website and I try to find their um, job posting on their website as well. And I apply for it a second time on their website. And then, so you basically, you're just trying to hammer away. You're just trying to hammer away at these people, like apply every single place that they allow you to apply. Like, don't try to be polite. Don't try to be nice. Don't try to like make them like, like you. 
just show them how interested you are by applying every, like your name should be popping up everywhere. They should get three emails about you all at once. You want that. So, um, so once you've applied on AngelList, once you've applied through their website, if you can, then you wanna take that name that you got from AngelList and you wanna go over to a second tool, which is Google Inbox. It's not the same thing as Gmail. Um, you can you, you use your Gmail account, but it's a separate app. It's called Inbox. So I think it's like inbox.google.com. Find it, but it's called Inbox. And so it's a way better email inbox than Gmail is. It's like much smarter, whatever. Um, I don't know if this tip even works in Gmail. It might work in Gmail too. Don't know, because I only use Inbox. So what, what I would do is like, I would take an hour to apply for jobs every day. And I would open up 15, like compose like 15 blank emails in my inbox. And then I would paste in a really like aggressively, I was going for sales jobs. So like aggressively worded, like I've been an entrepreneur for this many years, like, you know, for two plus years. I've been in software for six plus years. And like, I, I'm really excited to come work for you guys. And just like, I guess it's super aggressive, super like, um, really focus on like what you can do for them like don't ask for anything don't be like give me a job be like you guys need me this is what I can do for you and try to customize a little bit try to say the name of the company in the email or some some way like customize it um, and then basically I would like fill in a template of that email in all 15 like emails that I opened up um, and then like a really um, like grabby sort of subject line, like hire me or like check this out exclamation point or something that grabs them in the subject line. And then um, I would go through and find 15 jobs on AngelList where I could get those names. And then when I go to inbox, what I would do is I would start guessing what their email address is. A lot of times in on AngelList, it's mostly startups. And so a lot of times the like the most popular format right now is first name at whatever the company's domain is. Um, but what's interesting about Inbox is when you guess the email address correctly, it auto-populates the formatting of the email address or the profile picture of the person, or it just corrects the um, the casing. Like if you type, just for example, will at jobs.com, it might make the W in will a capital W, even though you typed it lower. And, and so anytime you see the formatting kind of change or adjust after you type the at da 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 dot com, you know that you guessed their email address correctly. So I was never getting any re returned emails like saying this person doesn't exist, like inbox knows. And when you guess it correctly, um, it has like a drop down. When you guess it correctly, it has a drop down with the corrected um, information, the corrected email and sometimes the profile picture. So you, or it'll just, it'll switch, it'll drop down and switch from the email address to their first and last name. That also happens. So any, any of those is a like positive, successful result. You definitely have their email address. I don't bother using any other tools. Like I don't Google um, the name of the company, email format. I don't bother with that. Like this is better than all of that stuff. There might be some other tools out there that I'm not familiar with, but why, why even go outside of inbox when you've got a tool that absolutely works? Plus, it's incredibly satisfying to correctly guess people's email addresses. Like, I don't know why I enjoy doing it. I think it's fun. It makes me feel like I'm smart or something. I don't know. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm being sneaky, which, whatever, it, it works. So anyway, I send, I send 15, it usually takes about an hour or so, but I send 15 of these emails, like aggressively worded to 15 different companies. And I would do that, honestly, I do like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Like, so I do it three times a week and my calendar filled the hell up with job interviews like literally i i was doing sometimes like five job interviews a day just from doing this process the response rate was incredibly high sometimes i was like literally getting interviews within an hour of doing this so um th in, this is this is the way to apply for jobs in 2018 like there's no better tip out there i doubt that there's anyone else is doing it on this level that gets the kind of traction i was able to get of course, it's up to you to actually be qualified for these jobs and to be able to close um, 
get that second interview. Oh, shoot, I forgot something. I'm glad, if you stay to the end, good, because you've actually, like, there's an important detail on that email that I didn't tell until just now. You want to, after you say, like, your aggressive, like, short little paragraph of, of a pitch, and I mean, when I say paragraph, I mean, like, four or five sentences, at the end of it, say, can you provide two times that you're available to talk next week? Um, it's important. You have to ask for that. And don't say, like, um, let me know if you're interested. Don't say that. Don't say, are you available to talk? Don't say that. Can you provide two times for us to hop on a call and talk next week? Uh, the next week part, the two time, providing two times is to like basically give them a very specific goal. Um, and then the next week is to show that, um, that you're, you're not in a rush. You're there on your schedule not the other way around. It, it helps. It just helps to ask for next week, not this week. And if it happens sooner, you could be like, yeah, I'm available. Here's my cell phone number. Like, give me a quick call. That's how I would get like really quick turnaround interviews. Um, this led to a lot of second and third interviews. This led to a lot of interviews where I had to fly, like fly out to the headquarters to actually do in-person interviews. And ultimately like I did finally get a So I finally got a job, no referral, didn't know anyone at the company. And now I have a job at that place. So most jobs are, are, you get through referrals, like 80% or something crazy. The other 20% of people like me where I wasn't able to do it through referral, like you're pretty much screwed unless you figure out what I just told you. So there's your tip. Go do it. Use it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, future of this channel, I don't know that it's always going to be like marketing sales type tips. Um, leave a comment tell me if you guys want things to remain the same or if you'd like me to do other stuff I have some other ideas um, just way out of left field stuff so I'm just gonna like I'm not even tell you guys what I have for ideas like it's just whatever um, I'm just gonna be trying stuff so um, yeah leave a thumbs up let me know like by the way thanks for all the subscribers part of the reason why I made this video is I keep getting notifications of subscribers on this channel which um, considering I haven't uploaded probably in over a month I, I, it's a surprise to me, but it's like really a welcome surprise. So I appreciate you guys for doing that and for, uh, I, I hope I'm bringing you guys some value. So anyway, like, subscribe, do your thing. Have a wonderful day. Let me know if you enjoy this tip. Goodbye. Peace.